How you doing? Uh, I'm I'm Carlos. I'm also an engineer, uh, but I don't have colorful uh, charts. So. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey. oh, he's Carlos Cario. too. His Great last name. name is Betancourt. Huh? No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you can go to the next slide. That's don't worry about that. Yeah, click through that. He's go supposed to, to talk about that. He doesn't do his job very well. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> One more click. There you there go. There you go. Okay. So. Uh, Graduated from uh, UTEP, University of Texas at El Paso, with a master's degree. Araceli, my wife there. Um, Everybody wave to his wife. She's dressed <laughs> like a lion. She was also an engineering major. Wow. I got a job in Dallas. and I, so I just got to ask you a question. You're both engineers. Yes, sir. So when you go to dinner, how do you pick where to go? Uh, she does. Does anybody understand that? Because they're sitting on Yelp out there for 20 minutes before they pick the, I don't get into that. No. Okay. But it would. <laughs> um, so she transferred to UTD, and then uh, we got pregnant. And after that, we decided, hey, you know, she's going to take care of the family. And right. I continued. Um, so I worked for TI for 20 years and until I retired last year uh, after the uh, second deal as a lead. Give him a hand on that again. We ruined his career. So we joined uh, Lifestyles in 2009, at the end of 2009, as big members. Um, and we started in single families, actually. We didn't have a lot of cash, and we couldn't be super passive at the time. We didn't have $2 million. Or <laughs> but um, you know, we got a few single families, and we moved to multifamily passive investments. And then we became leads in 2017, and here we are in our third deal. We are still passives. We, we love being passives in 11 deals so far, or properties, uh, with over 2,000 doors. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, point over this way. The computer's way over there. So yeah. It's in front of Sam. Um, so why did we join? Uh, we always wanted to do real estate, but we just being an engineer, I need to have the instruction set, uh, the recipe, right? You're afraid of all these things. You're gonna get calls in the middle of the night, and you know, he'll tell you how to do it uh, in that two-day class, the exact recipe, right? So once you hear that, you start feeling more comfortable, and then you have mentors who will hold your hand and take you through the process. You know, call them when you're freaking out, uh, and they'll <laughs> they'll pick up the phone. Uh, so heard Dell on the radio and decided to check it out. Uh, back then, by the way, it wasn't Cole's case study. I I don't remember what it was called, but there were like 10 people only. Talking about 2009. Yeah. And I uh, attended that, and I just, they didn't, they were not selling me CDs. They were not selling me anything. They truly wanted to, to help out. They talked about books, about being rich and all that stuff. And I was like, well. So after the two-day seminar, we, we joined. It was a lot cheaper, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's called inflation. Uh, raise that. He joined when I joined. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so this is the uh, deal we're talking about. This is our second deal as leads. It's called Summer Creek Apartments. We changed the name. It's in Garland. And that is the wrong picture. Yeah, These are the, the right wrong picture. slides. Hey, that's my first house. That's 1230 buildings. It, it is an apartment complex. I, don't know why that's I didn't <laughs> check the slides. That's funny. That's my first house, people. Live television. Yeah. <laughs> But it's 148 units, oh, uh, built in 1973. <laughs> we, we closed at the end of 2020, uh, 79,000 per door. That's still a pretty good price mm -hmm. compared to today's prices. Yeah. Uh, we raised 5,378,000. We financed uh, oh, 8 whoa, whoa, million. Whoa, 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 uh, that, whoa, that, slow that, down. That, that, that. You just said $5 million. How many people have $5 million? Yeah, two of us. <laughs> the point is most of you don't have five million in the bank account. So they, you just ran over that really quickly. Did you buy that by yourself, Carlos? No, we got about 80 investors. So there's uh, 80 different people. Yes, sir. Okay. What was your lowest investor in the deal? Uh, 25,000. So how many folks in this room come with 25K? Everybody. In other words, you don't have to be a millionaire to do this. They're sold in 25, 50, 100,000 dollar chunks. Whatever the rate of return is on the deal, you make that rate of return. Does that make sense? Were all your investors from here in Texas and Dallas 
No, no, we have investors from Washington, from Michigan, from California, Arizona, and I'm sure I'm forgetting one or two. Okay, so he had people from all over the place. And the reason I'm bringing this up because the people online from Hawaii and stuff go, well, gee, they're all Texas people. How am I going to do this? So you had people from California. Did they ever come to visit the property? No. No? So they smoke no. their pot out there, put money in your deal, make money. <laughs> yes, sir. Or, what, or eat Birkenstocks and tofu, whatever they do in California, right? And their paper straw. Mushrooms, I think. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Oh, that's, that's, that's the people from... Denver. Denver? That, no, that's, that's the 420 state. Oh. Arizona's the peyote state. Now, oh, okay. <laughs> how many of those 60 or 80 people, whatever it was in your deal, how many of them physically actually went to the property and visited it? We had, when we walked the property, there were about six, and then later on, about another two or three visited. Okay, so about 10 people out of 60. So what does that tell you? Do you have to visit these properties? You're just looking for a rate of return. You understand me? Do you go and visit the companies that your mutual funds are in? How many even know what companies are in your mutual fund? There's 40 of them. You don't even know what's in there. Am I right? The point is, is you can be a passive as you want. Okay, so I want to make sure people know from all across America that they could be in this deal. Now, if you put 25K in it uh, of $5 million, you don't own the whole property, you own every doorknob. There you go. All right, let's keep going. All right, so uh, we're having about 160000 in monthly income with 77000 and you'll, you'll learn all these. NOI is, is, is the key uh, number there, the net operating income. And so that's about 83000 And then after all mortgage and all other stuff, then we have a cash flow of about 32000 which is about 7% So to cash simplify cash. all that gobbledygook, which I'll explain <laughs> this weekend, here's what it matters to you. What's in it for me is what I always tell new folks. If I put in my 25, my 50, my 100K, you'll make tax-free about 7%. Who'd be okay with that in today's economy? Give me a hand, it's good. Now, when you put your money in a deal, how much work do you have to do? Zero, you just get a check in the mail. Who likes that? You just, he has to do all the work. Just wanna make sure yes. you know the difference, okay? Um, <clears throat> so we've distributed about 388,000 since acquisition and um, the current value, we'll see what, it, we, we bought it for about 11.6 million right now. It's 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 about 16.5. We'll get into those numbers at this uh, magic cap rate that he will explain. <laughs> All right. So this is, this is the real picture. Um, yeah. So we we built a new uh, sign, monument sign. Uh, the previous owner he owned it since like the 80s. Um, <clears throat> so he just had a wood sign at the front. So all he ever did was like just paint it, not yeah, like, yeah, like do yeah. actual <laughs> structural stuff. Well, he actually did uh, the, the siding, okay. uh, Hardy, Hardy, Hardy. Hardy. yeah, that, that, was, that was a pretty good one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, we uh, painted those kind of towers to make them pop and added the solar screens. We painted some of the brick. Um, we added the the patios were kind of old, so we 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 replaced them with metal and zero uh, plank. Okay. The the big thing on this that I notice that pops to me is going to the cedar here. Yeah. You see the difference between this versus that. That makes it look modern. So those little touches attracts good resonance. Yeah. Curb appeal is important. Because it's just like in marriage, guys, just so you know, in the industry, there's large turnover in the apartment communities. It's typically about 50%. So what do we learn about marriage? It's cheaper to keep her. So we can get them to stay, there's not high turnover. Does that make sense? I can't believe you're still married. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. All it's right. jokes, people. <laughs> Uh, speaking of that, um, first impression is what matters. So that, that 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 is the office. That's how it used to be. It's actually that front room over there, small room, and then they had this wall separating the manager's office, and they had this mirror window. I guess <laughs> the manager could see through, but the residents could could not see. <laughs> wow, that's weird. <laughs> 
So we took that out, we opened it up, and we, 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 you know, we made, made it look a little better. Okay. $10,000 on furniture. There you go. <coughs> but it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then the, the pools, they were just pretty tired. Uh, so we, we redecked them. We replastered them. Again, again, there's there's more cedar planking there. So you can tell you, you purchased in COVID because this guy's wearing a mask. Yes, that is Ricardo Hinojosa over there. Oh, is that Ricardo? Wave Ricardo from Old Capital. He lent us billions of dollars. We like him. <laughs> so we need to get the picture again with you there. You know. <laughs> Without the mask because you're not a communist. <laughs> oh, wait, I had my microphone off. You don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> All right, so your typical rehab of interiors, um, you know, we uh, we didn't have to add granite or any sort of uh, stone resurfacing based on the market why, surveys. Why did you keep the uh, olive green surround? <laughs> we I thought about it, but okay. um, <clears throat> do, you, do you see what kind it. of person that would attract those ugly apartments? Hell no, that's retro. Retro, yeah. The brown sta stains are they retro? Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's, they're called street urchin. But, you know, backsplash, new appliances, paint throughout, new flooring. Looks great. <laughs> you just got to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Uh -oh. Go back a few. Sorry. Reverses the, yeah, left arrow. Do you want me to get it there? Here, give me your clicker. We just got there. We go. This is the one that matters. Oh, yeah. see, let's just like, yeah. See, the computer over there is all the way over there. That's, That's the problem. What I need to you keep pointing to this one. Yeah. This is to fake you out because you're an engineer. <sighs> We're trolling you. It's actually the computer over there. So I need to go like this. Yeah. There you go. Now you get. You're an engineer. You figured all right, it out. All right. Better than the Aggie. So, <laughs> El Paso. I still troll him every time. All right. So we we raised 5.3 mil. Um, the property was making about 640,000 in uh, NOI and the purchase price was 11.625 million. Um, and then this is, we're in year two actually. So year one and year two are kind of actuals. Okay. We raised the NOI, which is what you do in multifamily. And then that pushes your property value up. Um, this is our target for year three. Actually, I wanna beat that. And if you were to pay your loan plus closing costs, potentially some penalties, prepay penalties in there, blah, 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 you know, I pull it all that in there, then you return the money. Okay, Dave will get into all that this weekend. <laughs> you return the money, the original investment, and then this is this, oh, and these are uh, cash distributions that we've made and that we're planning to do. And then this is basically your your profit, which is about 72% is what we're projecting after three years. Who'd be okay with 70% return? Yeah, it's not bad. So, so it's really simple, guys. I'm gonna break this down to normal numbers that normal people can understand. If you put $100,000 in, you could have put in 25, 50 or whatever it is. You got your 100,000 back, so you're made whole. And then you got another 72 grand on top of that. Who'd be okay with that? And how much work did they all do? Nothing. None of them come out there to visit you. All they said is, where's my check? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's ACH. It's ACH. They don't even do that. They don't even <laughs> see you. All right. Um, That's it. Keep Thank going. You. Who would like to be in that deal compared to what you're doing in the stock market right now? Give me a hand. It's huge. Thank you. Thank you. So how do we increase the NOI? Follow the recipe. Best product, best price. Listen to the mentors. Um, improving the curb appeal, yep. we want more traffic, we want uh, better feedback, uh, we renovated the amenities, you know, the pools, the laundry, uh, better maintenance, we got a lot of feedback that the previous owner was not really fixing things, and we came in and we had a lot of work orders, but we got them all done. Um, and then the, in the interiors, right? The interiors right. is what sells the unit at the end. And remember, you can't do it all at once because they're occupied units. He has to wait till people move out, and then he raises rent. Another person moves out, then he raises rent. That's called loss of lease, but we'll teach you that this weekend. So how has uh, LU changed our life? Uh, well, I 
was able to retire uh, last year. I and love ruining all those TI guys. You're about my 10th TI guy. Yeah. Are you TI? No? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, so now we work in our business, not on our business. Yeah. In or means I'm actually going there and, and fixing things or helping or I don't do anything, but I tell people what to do, to do and, and so on. And you write checks. And then when you get writer's cramp. Yeah, yeah. And then when you have free storms and you go like, oh, crap, all the leaks and stuff. Um, but at the same time, we have more time for our family, mm -hmm. uh, flex time, you know, if I don't have to be there all the time. And we get to travel and things like that. So, so even as a lead investor, even though it's very involved and you're, you're, you know, you're, you're worried about your investors' money, so you're there working it. How is the stress level of being a lead investor running the property compared to your deadlines at TI when you're working there? It's uh, it's way lo lower, but there's spikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, there's going to be there's spikes, right? When you take over, when there's a free storm, when there's something, you know, there's there's spikes, and but uh, you can handle that and. You know, but overall, there's more time. So here's the big thing, and people always ask me this. Yeah, when we first take over, that's that's crunch time for him. Yeah. Said. But all of a sudden, a year later, it's full. The mm -hmm. big rehab's done. Yeah. What's the stress level then? A year later, when it's on cruise control. It's it's low. It's See, low. so and, I, I just and, want you to understand. Some of you might think of this as a career, where you're making you know a six-figure income at your job. Why not make a seven-figure income? Who likes that idea? You know what I mean? So people make careers out of this. And so you, don't, you don't have the corporate politics. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You only have to listen to one person. Yeah. So let me let me <laughs> <laughs> let me step in on that as well. And he's not doing it alone. He doesn't no. have to do it alone. Nope. Uh, before this meeting, we have a what's called we call a lead meeting, and there's usually about 70 of us in the room on the other side, and we go through all the operations and details, things that we're struggling with, or you know, some people are new at this, and they can ask any question to all of the leads of uh, North Texas. And he may have just gone through it this first time, but we've been through it many a times. So he doesn't have to do it alone. None of the leads that we train have to do it alone. It's We're here to help. And, and I'll give you an analogy, because most people don't understand this concept. If this guy owns a Sunoco and that guy owns an Exxon, do they share their information? No, but here at Lifestyles, we're willing to open our books to each other and how much do you pay for your paint? How much do you pay for your maintenance man? And anything you come up like, oh my gosh, I'm having trouble with an eviction, what do I do? Well, I know this guy and this lawyer, who likes that we do that every month? Now think, if you're investing with a guy like him, and you know he's in this mastermind every single month, and they're all talking together and problem solving, what's your level of success? That's the power of lifestyles, okay? Yeah. And that's why I have that, that we now spend time with, with those kinds of people, uh, fellow investors, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've got so many contacts I can call, just questions like that, yeah. right? I can call Mike, of course, first, <laughs> but then there's others that I can yeah. call and, and just get you know advice and support and how did you do that and 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 there's abundance mentality. There's there's open book about how much you're paying and all of these, you know. Whereas in the corporate war, you don't you're not supposed to talk about your your uh, yeah. salary and your yeah. benefits and yeah. stuff like that, you know. Now it's like how much you make. Oh, and just so you Damn, know, I need to make you know, more. next week is it? We're gonna do his road trip, right? Yeah, next Friday. So if you're a preferred uh, member, we'll talk about that this weekend if you're mm -hmm. new. But we're gonna actually go out and tour his property, correct? And he's gonna open his books to you, so it's kind of cool. So yeah, it works out real well because the Friday after we do case study, we'll do the road trip to their property, and we won't talk about any of the finances while we're at the property. But then after that, we'll get together at a restaurant and just kind of chat about the property, what it looks. He can tell us the good, bad, and the ugly about it then. Yeah, and there's alcohol. Dave's paying. No, I don't drink. Oh. <laughs> Is there a picture there? It's just a goal thing. All right. Um, so What's short, big goal? short terms. Uh, look at it. Just. Get, just tell us. You're an engineer. Get you're another deal. Anymore. Get more deal. <laughs> Grow the business because we self-manage. So that's what I yeah. mean. You know. Um, and then long term, everyone has to be an IRO. We eventually want to get there. But in the meantime, enjoy what we have, the family, travel. And uh, what else did I have there? Oh, maybe buy some land and okay. do some outdoor stuff. There and you go. Some Build hunting. your own Texas Instruments company. No. No. Okay. That's work. <laughs> know, That's a lot. It. No. I'm joking. So the cool thing about our program too is this this is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And these are the kind of folks, the brilliant engineers that moved into this industry, 
that are going to teach my kids. The next generation, he's going to get a tap on the shoulder and say, it's time for you to give back. He's already on his third deal. The experience that this guy has already is astronomical. Mm -hmm. it's, it's quick training, and you're in the fire. So these are the kind of guys that I want to train my kids. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think that's it. No, nope, one more. There's going to be your shout outs. So ah, like. yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> my, my, my great mentor, Mike yeah. Spots. And then Carolyn help, helped us uh, close the deal. You know. And one more, one, some more folks you got to thank. Are any of your investors in the room in any of your deals? Yes. So, if you're in any of his deals, raise your hands. There you so go. So, you see all these people, they're smiling because they're making money. <laughs> Give them a hand because it doesn't happen without the investors. You're here. Huge. You're here. Yeah. Then, of course, my KP, who's not here, Kevin Chalmers. Okay. And then KP in the, in the first deal, Amrit. I think he presented recently, Amrit yep. and yeah, KP. Yeah, he was here last month, okay. uh, two months ago. So, so, really quick, I just want to show for the new folks in the room because most of the people that have been here for a while, they don't come when I'm talking. They heard me 30 times, so they all hang out there, all the millionaires, but they're in the room now because this is where you make the millions is they put money in these deals. For the folks in the room that are in deals, how many people in this room are already investing apartments? Raise your hands. So all the new folks, I want you to look around. See all those hands up? They're already doing it. At the end of the night, I want you to network, meet some people that are already doing it so you can get inspired to do it too, okay? So we're going to take some questions now. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. And really quick, the same thing I asked the other two guys. I don't know if you were paying attention or you were out there with the pot smokers. <laughs> what advice would you give the new folks coming to my seminar this weekend, thinking about maybe just investing in apartment deals or something like that? Go back to when you were new. What advice would you give them? D don't, don't let fear paralyze you. Just take action. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. Analysis paralysis. And I, yes, out. yes, yes. I mean, I remember after the two day, and I was calling out a silly, it's a little money, but I think it's good. What do you think? <laughs> Did she's, your wife go through a seminar with you? No, no. Oh, so she, she just trusted she, she, you. Yeah, but she said, do it. You see, you're like, that's how my wife was. She's like, I don't understand all those numbers, just, but I'm just going to support you. And then that's she good. came later. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, cool. Questions? Questions. Surely. Okay. This is your third deal, correct? Yes, sir. All right. So compare, if you will, your first to now your third. What kind of processes did you go through from the yeah, first deal to the third? How big was your first one, third? Too. Well, this is actually the second that we're presenting. Okay. I, we have a third that is going on right now. The first deal was a 65 unit in Greenville, and it was a value play. The property was more tired. <laughs> it was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it was an interesting experience. It was hard. It was hard for a first-time lead. Uh, I usually don't recommend that. But it was. It, we still did well. Uh, and, but it was. It was hard. Okay. So he actually picked up a big fixer up on his first one. Yes. Which is usually the opposite of what I tell people do. <laughs> do an easy one on your first one, then get the ugly girl. Yes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that too much? Have I offended you yet? You mixed well, wait, it up. Wait, there's more. You get a whole weekend of this. But 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 we learn a lot. Yes. A lot. When you acquired the first um property, um um what was the the rent before and then afterwards? So and the question well, the, what was the rent before and afterwards on your first deal? How much did you move up rents on the first one? Scary one. <laughs> on the scary one. The girl with the armpit hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I think we went up about one hundred and fifty dollars. That's huge. Give me a hand. Yeah. And in this one, we we've gone up about two hundred. We're going to try wow. to push it. Yeah. When you hear that, when you come to my summer this weekend, you'll see how powerful that is. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. Anybody, Anybody else? Anybody? Got to raise your hand. Hi. Anybody? Bueller. 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 All right. All right. We're actually going to get you out guys. Of time. Thank you guys. Thank you. We did this amazing. Thank you. Give these guys a hand. Thank you so much for giving back and sharing.